and we're going to have numerous missions on the surface of the moon all over the moon at various times so that we can learn more about the moon than we've ever known before. In the Apollo era, we landed on the surface of the moon six times with 12 humans that had the opportunity to walk on the surface of the moon. In each case, it was at the equatorial regions of the moon. So we missed a lot of the science. In 2009, 40 years after Apollo 11, we learned for the first time that there's hundreds of millions of tons of water ice at the south pole of the moon. We completely missed it for 40 years. So what we want to do now is go back to the moon, go back to all of the moon, learn everything there is to learn, but also learn how to live and work so we can go to Mars. When you look back at that first landing 50 years ago, there was a real race between the United States and Soviet Union yes. to get there first. Now you're talking more about international partnership. Is there a 21st century version of that space race? I don't know if you'd call it a race in today's era, uh, but back then you, you're absolutely right it was. It was a contest of political systems, of economic systems, of technological prowess, and of course whoever could get there first would be the winner. Um, and of course we all remember July 20th, 1969, of course I don't remember because I wasn't born yet, <laughs> but <either>. of course <laughs> we read about it in the history books. We had that moment in time where everybody on the planet knew right where they were when we landed on the moon. Well, that was a wonderful generation. The new generation is very different. It's not a contest of political ideologies. Now it's about collaboration. And it's also about going with people that historically have never had the opportunity, namely women. The Vice President of the United States announced that this time when we go to the moon, we're going to go to the South Pole where the water ice is and for the first time we're going to send women to the moon and that's important I have an 11 year old daughter and I want her to see herself as having every opportunity I saw myself as having when I grew up that's why going to the moon with women under a new program called Artemis and Artemis is of course the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology she is the goddess of the moon and this time when we go to the moon we're going to go with men and women 